Michael Bay returns with the best movie of all time. Just kidding, or am I? You'll soon find out in my review for this brand new film, Ambulance. But before that, if you want to know how I watched it early and left my review before the embargo, jump down into the description of the video. So now, let us start. I will break it down point by point in brief. Here we go. The three leads, namely Jack Gyllenhaal, Yaya abdul Mateen II and Isa Gonzalez are fantastic. I don't even have a favorite. All three of them are equally good. As for my favorite character, it was Danny Sharp, who was portrayed by Jack Gyllenhaal. I thought he was a really well-shaped character. The other two are also well developed, but I just thought Danny Sharp was a little bit better. But as I already mentioned, I thought the three actors delivered best for their characters. Jack Gyllenhaal is already a very popular star, but Yaya abdul Mateen II proves that he is not far behind. So Isa Gonzalez is just starting her career in doing big blockbusters. I think she delivers one of her recent bests. Michael Bay has made so many bad movies. The many enjoy the action in his movies, including me. I don't think he has delivered a lot of good story elements. So is Ambulance an example of another one of his bad movies with just good action? The answer is quite no, but not like the story is really well executed. We will get there in the next point. Michael Bay's direction here is better than his other recent movies. First of all, there is not a single Michael Bay movie that I am a huge fan of. I know he has a huge Transformers fan base and maybe even Bad Boys. But I don't care for either of those franchises. But now he's made Ambulance, which I might rewatch someday. I'm not saying it is a good movie, but I'll consider it to be a good Michael Bay movie. William Sharp is a war veteran who desperately needs money for his wife's surgery. He reaches out to Danny, his adoptive brother and a lifelong criminal who talks him into taking part in a $32 million bank heist. The robbery goes wrong when they shoot an LAPD officer. The pair are soon on the run in an ambulance with an EMT and the dying officer has here as their hostages. The story is good, but I think it could have had a better execution. The screenplay is not good, like really not good, but the story is thrilling enough to make you stay and at points it was quite a rush of adrenaline. Now here is something strange. The action scenes of this film don't provide all the entertainment. The thrilling aspects of the movie do most of the entertainment job. The action is good, no doubt, but this is something that is always great in a Michael Bay film. Here it is not great, it's just good. But it is closer to reality. Was I disappointed from the weak action? Well, I guess yes. A tiny bit disappointed because that was the only thing I was looking forward to in this film considering it was a Michael Bay film. But Michael Bay does a good job in story and not a great job in action. Quite the opposite of what I'd expect. So this was basically everything I'd like to discuss about this film. There is not a lot of things to discuss here. It has a better than Michael Bay level story which was still mediocre and the action scenes are below Michael Bay level while being mediocre. And we have got three really nice performances here and it's a nice thrill. Considering at all these points, I'm giving Ambulance a 6 out of 10. So that was my review for Ambulance. Share your opinions in the comment section down below. Are you excited for this film or not? Uh, that's basically it. Like, share and subscribe Filmvilla and stay tuned for more videos.